I don't remember who told me this, but I want to talk today about meetings or networking or whatever in the sense of conversation. And somebody once said that if you roll in, as a lot of actors do in particular, and your conversation is about work, 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 industry, 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 work, 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 and you're at a social event, it's like the last thing people want to hear. And I have been guilty of this, actually, because I get very excited about things in the entertainment industry and the things I'm working on and um, the things that I've seen other people working on. And I get very, I just want to talk about it and celebrate it and blah, blah, blah. But um, I have learned, and also I've been on the receiving end of that. When I'm in the midst of something and somebody wants to talk about the business and I'm just like, dude, I'm just doing my stand-up paddleboarding, blah, you know? And so it's interesting um, being on both sides of that where, you know, you really don't want to talk business. I am to the point where I'm at the, you know, when it starts going into business, I feel very self-conscious of it. Uh, case in point, I was at a party recently it's interesting. I was at a party recently and I met someone. I am a huge musical fan since when I was little, 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 little kid. And I love musicals and I grew up in New York and I totally, my parents would bring me to musicals and I'm so grateful for that. And I love Danny and I loved Joseph the Amazing, Technical Dream Code and all that stuff. And I saw Cats so many times. I had the book. I knew the, the, uh, the words, all the words to every single song in there and the chanting and everything. And I would like get on tables and be like a cat too because I was so into that musical. So I was at a party the other day and I met someone, someone I knew, but I didn't know he had done cats and he done cats and I was just like from the 80s not the new one and I had probably seen him because I saw that a few times and I just you know and there was a part of me that just and I ended up going there and I felt really bad afterward because I know there's another part of me so I was just like oh my god he did cats I love cats and I've got a little bit well but we were friends so he wasn't like it wasn't like me rushing him on the street being like all this energy rushing toward him but the revelation of that was just kind of exciting to me because my eight-year-old self was just like oh you were deuteronomy no so <laughs> i just uh, it was so crazy not really though but i got very excited so uh in an if i hadn't been friends with him i probably wouldn't have even I wouldn't have gotten that excited, but I felt like safe enough around a familiar group of people that I could be um, a little bit more uh, vivacious in my enthusiasm. Um, but even going even further, if this had been like a, um, a networking thing, uh, I either would have really been like, oh, I loved your work, or I would have like toned it down a lot and not even spoken about... It's very weird. It's a touchy thing, but what... When you start taking on the, the fan energy, um, especially with famous people, they kind of retract and you have to have a balance of appreciating their work while also, you know, not, you know, getting too crazy as a super fan. Whew, I got a little bit super fan when I saw old Deuteronomy, but I, um, ah, I digress. I, uh, just wanted to like make clear that, uh, in business meetings, or in business meetings, you're talking business, but let's say you're playing softball with people or you're at a charity event. It's best, and maybe this is fairly obvious, especially about charity events, but like a lot of people do want to just like kind of break out into business or even if it's a sort of social event, but also related to the industry, like you're at a screening, it's good to just make a conversation about like, you know, the screening or a great bar nearby or, you know, restaurant nearby that you like really love or just something you were doing last week or a hobby that you share or something like that. Don't necessarily go into the um, industry aspect of it. It'll come. It'll be part of 
the conversation usually in the last five minutes and you're like that's all we're going to talk about because you know it's but it's, it happens like this it's very interesting because i'll be like hanging out with people and like oh they're that and then as we're leaving they'll be like so call you on monday i have an idea for and you're like oh cool it's just and and i've done the same thing too where it's been sort of randomly at the end as like uh because i think people also have an urge to kind of tack in a what's going to happen after we depart like when's the next meeting happen or are we going to I'll talk to you on Facebook or something. And um, no conversation previous to that has to happen except an awareness of what roles you play in the industry. Um, but even then, you know, but it's just an interesting thing that I've found. And I really um, kind of like it because it's made the fun times in life about fun, but it also can um, make the networking feel better than just like people talking to each other, which happens a lot in LA. What do you do? I do this. What do you do? I do this. Have I seen anything that you've done? Yes, you have. Have I seen anything that you've done? Yes, you have. Well, that's great. What budget was it? It was this budget. I used to do like 10 minutes of this with uh, one of my relatives and we would just be like, do you like cheese? I like cheese. Do you like, and it's so contrived. So try to get into the fun of events. I guess that's the point of it. And don't go right for the industry of it. Cause I got so sick of these networking events and it was the same conversation over and over again. You know what I didn't get sick of? Hanging out with the people I used to play softball with. Um, even though everybody was kind of networking in the industry, sort of, but it didn't feel like that because we were just out there playing softball. So, um, and then new people would come and it was very networky actually, but it created nice bonds. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I will uh, talk to you soon.